Hey guys, this is Torn and today we're going to be reviewing through the Squirreled Away Precon and we're going to look at how much, you know, how many great reprints they are in here, if there's any good reprints that we're looking forward to. Uh, we're going to be, you know, talking about what kind of strengths it has and what it kind of does and stuff. Uh, but I don't entirely know, you know, how these are going to play. We've seen before that sometimes, you know, things that might look a little bit all over the place end up playing really well. So uh, we'll give some kind of ideas on it as well as what kind of just discussing overall what might my thoughts on the precon are so the precon the hazel of the root bloom is the face commander here and she basically kind of explains the whole deck you can tap her pay to life tap any amount of untapped tokens you control and then you're going to add x mana in any combination of colors from there and at the end of your uh sorry at the beginning of your end step you get to create a token that's a copy of a target token you already control if that token is a screw you get to take make two tokens so essentially at the end of uh, sorry at the beginning of your end step you've got to populate based on your commander and then you can also tap tokens to make a whole bunch of mana which is really nice too so this deck includes a lot a lot of um different kind of tokens and stuff which is going to be a little bit kind of all over the place here um we've got you know stuff like haywire might as well so that way when it dies you gain life you get to like you know sack stuff there um gilded goose some food tokens here squirrel tokens uh you know sack some artifacts or creatures with ravenous squirrel which is getting a nice uh i think it's retro foil a retro border from the uh like a promo um you've got like you know some stuff to buff up your squirrels as well as you know this press prosperous innkeeper uh gain life whenever a creature enters uh when it enters create a treasure so we've got treasures academy of Anium factor is an interesting one um they've kind of started adding in this into a lot of pre-cons so its price has gone down which is something that people will look at here when they're looking at you know the reprint value um Academy Manufacturer has mostly been reprinted in pre-cons lately, and it's kind of gone down a bit because of that. But it is a very nice reprint to have in here, right? Like, no one's going to deny having this in here is going to be good. Uh, obviously, we've got Chatterfang as a reprint in here, too. Uh, what's down here? Tireless Provision is a really great one. to gives you a landfall, food, or treasures. Toski getting a reprint, too. Toski, we also know, is one of the universe uh what not universe beyond <laughs> um what are the courageous critters so there's the courageous critters for toski i believe it was which is really cool um balladress with a bloom getting a reprint here too which is nice uh the, now the other thing here is this garrick this garrick is going to be the uh crit imagine courageous critters version of him so it's actually a squirrel instead of garrick uh which is really cool <laughs> i'm really happy with that i think it's squirrel now I'm, now I'm worried that he's not a squirrel. Let me see if I can quickly just find him here. Um, for his new version is a here. Here we go. Oh no, it's Badger. So that's him there. That's the new Garrick that you get in here too. Um, and everyone will get this, right? Like if you get the Screw It Away precon, you will get this version of Garrick, which is really cool. Um, here we've got Saw in Half, which is a really great reprint as well for, you know, a deck that wants to obviously already kill your creatures and then create tokens. Um, you've got like something that, you know, kills a creature and creates tokens. Second Harvest, an amazing reprint. Uh, I was actually looking at that the other day for a couple decks that I was working on too, which is good. Uh, Skull Clamp, a reprint, and Maskwood Nexus of reprints as well. Uh, as for like the new cards, you know, we've got like Sword of the Squeak. You get to get plus one, plus one for each creature you've got that's plus uh, base power and toughness one. So we've got a few different ways to make one, one squirrels, right? Like a whole bunch of ways to make one, one squirrels or, uh, you know, some other one one rats. There's like Chittering Witch. We've got Ogre Slumlord as well, making rats. Um, you know, more squirrely kind of stuff in here too. You know, a lot of different ways to be able to make one one. So, Squirrel, a uh, sort of squeak is a new one that's going to be able to buff up a creature that's equipped on based off of that. Swarm Yard Massacre here is not coming up with the preview for some reason, uh, but it is create some green. Uh, 
creature tokens and then board wipe based off of your insects, rats, spiders, and squirrels. You get minus one, minus one to everything based off of how many of those you've got. Uh, and then it doesn't affect those as well. So it's, you know, big one-sided board wipe. We've got scurrier squirrels, myriad, myriad on, <laughs> on squirrels, which is cool. Um, but Hazel's Brewmaster is really interesting. Uh, when it attacks, XR one target card from your graveyard and create a treasure, uh, sorry, a food token. And then foods you control have all activated abilities of all creature cards exiled by Hazel's Brewmaster. So if you exile, what have we got in here that's got an activated? Is there anything with an activated besides your commander? You got that one, Insatiable. Um, I guess Chittering Witch, you can do it on Chittering Witch. There's not very many things in here with like activated. Chatterfang. Chatterfang would actually be a very interesting one to do it for. Um, yeah, not all that many creatures in here that have activated. Although Haywire might, Haywire might would actually be a very interesting one as well. Or uh, even Gilded Goose. Imagine if you sack the Haywire might. That means that all of your foods will now be green, sack it. Exile an artifact or non creature to enchantment. Very cool. Uh, Insatial Frugivore here, create a food, and then you may exile three cards from your graveyard. If you do, do it again, and then sack foods two from there. Um, the new Gorman's Talent is a uh, very interesting class. They've brought classes back. So it's going to be uh, during your turn, artifacts you control are foods. And then whenever you gain life for the first time each turn, create a raccoon. And then whenever you gain life for the first turn, put a plus one, plus one on each creature you control. So very quickly could get out of control with that. I'm actually surprised there's a mask with Nexus in here. That is actually really great. Especially for a deck that potentially cares about squirrels. Um, making everything into a squirrel is going to be crazy. Uh, you know, we've got Beastmaster Ascension here as well. Looking at the actual, like lands and land reprints here swarm yard i am so surprised they reprinted swarm yard regenerate target insect rat spider and squirrel really really great there uh we've got like you know the is this a filter land i think they're called or I, I can't remember exactly what those types are called there um but they've gone actually really nice in my opinion with the land base it's not amazing right like you've still got some that aren't great in here but overall, you know, they've gone with a nice, big, broad kind of plus uh, uh, Golgari kind of land base here. Um, still missing like the like pain lands. There's no pain land in here from what I can tell, which is a little unfortunate, I guess. It doesn't look like, oh no, there, there's the pain line. Uh, I wish they did shock lands in these as well. Um, but overall, like looking at the deck, there is a lot of ways to be able to create a lot of different tokens. Uh, I could imagine that getting a little kind of overboard for newer players where you're like looking at things and being like, oh, now I'm creating a, a squirrel, a food, a, a, a rat, or whatever. Um, and there's lots of different tokens. It's not very um, squirrel heavy. Right, like the, there is a bunch of squirrels in here, but I wouldn't say it's all a kind of squirrel heavy deck, especially like, you know, once you get down to stuff like Arastas in here, but it is a very token heavy deck, which is good because Hazel, like while Hazel cares about, you know, tokens and cares a little bit about squirrels, she's not kind of focused entirely on squirrels. Chatterfang though, if you wanted to like, you know, make Chatterfang the commander here, he does care about squirrels, but he also creates more squirrels. So all of this stuff that's creating tokens will also create squirrels, which is nice. I do think the reprints are really nice. Like, you know, Skull Clamp is a great reprint in here. I'm surprised they reprinted that in here, to be honest, because it is suits the deck so well. Maskwood Nexus, really, really great. Beastwood Ascension, uh, Beastmaster Ascension, not too bad. Uh, you know, Belladris Witherbloom, very decent as well. Uh, a lot of nice kind of, uh creature and you know even like the actually even beyond just the creature reprints the rest of the reprints are really nice in here too as i said the land base could use a bit of work but that's kind of the the basis that we kind of go off <laughs> that the land bases in these precons always need work so yeah i'd love to hear from you guys what you guys think uh overall my review is that this deck looks really nice it's very big um in regards to nice reprints and stuff 
Uh, it's going to be a little bit potentially tricky for newer players having a look at it, but overall, I think it's a really great kind of deck. Oh, Bindingly All Gods too. That's actually really good. I hope you guys had a great day and goodbye.